Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this time we're going to be looking at when is it the best time to mow grass, because, again, it's going to be one of my few videos we're going to be doing testing when it comes to yieldage and all that other good stuff. So, in FS22, it takes two months to grow the grass, and same here in FS25. However, I want to see if you wait another month, do you get more grass, and is it worth it doing waiting three months, so, well, well, we'll meet in the course of a year, versus, you know, six cuts in 12 months, or four cuts in the year, depending on how long you leave it to grow for, so, this is going to be a test, and what I've done here, I've got a small plot land here, this is all being fully fertilized, it's all being plowed and that, so, it's been mulched, so we should get the most yield bonus as possible, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drill it, and then I'll come back afterwards, and um, after two months, so in December, we're going to see how much we actually have and can get. So, I've got a bailer, I've got a mower. We don't have any silage additive, as I don't want it to be a factor, and this silage additive factor is going to be on its own in a separate video coming up very soon. So yeah, let me get drilling done, and then I'll bring folks back in two months. So it is December now, it's been exactly two months, and I've done all the prep work as required. And finally, I've got a yield bonus of 100%, because I have tried this on a couple of attempts for other prep work it relates up for other videos, and I've always got like 97%, even though I've mulched and rolled and all that, but anyway, it's not getting into that exactly, that'll be again for another video. But we are at 100%, and what I'm going to do now is save the game. So I can come back in once we're done for the first test and see actually how much we get. Because, yeah, 100% yield bonus that is across the entire field. And for reference, this is field three on Hunt and Pantai. So, yeah, let's go and get the moment done. I am going to be using the GPS worker net. So, yeah, I say to do the headlands, two headlands. I think, yeah, actually, I think one would be better than that. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this mode. It is toggled to swath dropping. I will wind row this. Actually, I will wind row. I'll just beat it after, since it's going to be in swath. Yeah, apologies, there is a small issue with the mic there. So, yeah, as I said, I will bail this after with the bailer, which is got across the fields. And then, yeah, we'll do a total count, and anything that's left over, I will add on to the total. And I'll show you how much bells we get, because I think I'll do the large ones, just so that makes it easier to handle that. And then, yeah, I'll cut brief things back, we'll discuss this, and then we'll again rinse and repeat for the unit for another month, and see if it's actually worth doing, because, yeah. It was worth it in FS22, but is it going to be worth it in FS25? And should you cut every two months or three months? And that's what we're going to be testing right about now. Who's country Envoy here? For whatever reason, the audio didn't re really save, and yeah, no idea why audio wasn't picked up in the last in this clip here. So, anyways, we're done. 4,966 liters left in the beater. With 25 bells at 6,000 liters, that means the total volume after two months was. 154,976 litres, so in FS22, where you left it for another month for that, you get a bit of an extra bonus from it in the way. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead to reset this. So I've saved it obviously previously. And yeah, what I'm going to do is come back in, reset, and see where we stand in three months' time. But yeah, I made sure everything was done. The AI was having issues with this, or in terms of the AI system wasn't working so I had to use the steering assist and yeah overall said we did a good job made sure that everything was picked up so what I'm gonna do is pick up this little bit over here but it's worth much I think it's about 10 liters is worth in that so overall wasn't worth it too much but anyway so let's repeat this and I'm gonna see folks back in three months once we're done and yeah just compare and contrast is there a difference between then it grow and cut every two months? Was it worth then it cut every three months? So, alright, post contrary envoy here again. For a reason, this clip had also recording issues, no idea why. But anyways, we'll come back in and after three months, yeah, I even when I did this, I had to check back in the corner to make sure I didn't set 15 and not 25 bells, but last time we had 25 bells, this time we had 
26 bells, a long way of 1,302 years in left in beta, so in total after 3 months the volume is 157,302 litres, so compare and contrast, there is already what, about a 2,000 litre difference, and what I'm going to do now is pop a screen here and I put everything in a nice little all spreadsheet document and yeah, in terms of the volume that, it's absolutely weird because I, I know for a fact in FS2 when you leave it for three months you get an extra 50% or so yield bonus from it in a way, in that extra growth state essentially what it was. But yeah, for a reason in FS25 that is not the case, so when you split this down into is it worth doing, obviously individually already we know it's not worth doing for three months, it's best cut every two months, so in terms of total volume, that is a 300,000 litre difference you are losing. And yeah, what we're going to do now is go into our tabs now, because that is a significant difference now. In terms of the areas I worked here, so we worked 1.96 hectares. The field said it was like 3.2 hectares and that, but it is not worth that at all. It's not that at all in terms of the actual volume. But going into our prices tab, the silage at the moment on Easy Economy is worth about £369 per thousand a year. So what I'm going to do is find silage. Yes, the prices will vary, but just compare and contrast the difference here. Over the course of a year, you are losing 300,000 years of grass here. So that is a significant difference at £369 per thousand years. That is just over £110,000 you're losing. Yes, okay, this is on Easy Economy. But yeah, so yeah, I had to cut there because, yeah, for whatever reason, I had an audio that picked up in the recording there. So, overall, was it worth doing that? Overall, I'll say, obviously, no, because you're losing £110,000 at 300000 litres per year when you're cutting every two months versus three months. And yeah, this was a small field at 1.9 hectares. This was fully prepped out, so that 100% yield bonus, so for most people it's a significant difference. But anyways, I'm going to leave it for today. As always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share it, so please be my guest. Whatever you choose to do, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you all very soon.